Yeah, hello again to everyone. Our topic for today is the how to use XLOOKUP. In this example, we will use two criteria. Sometimes we call it a two-way lookup. Let's say we have our uh, table here. This is our table where it contains both the lookup value and then the return value. And we just would like to extract values specifically for the finance department. The number of employees, the average salary, and location. XLOOKUP can return an array of values uh, using only one formula. So let's start. XL. I'm just typing XL and then I click tab. I don't have to write the whole X lookup formula. Our lookup value is the department finance, comma. Our lookup array is the department here, comma. And then our return array is all these three columns inside the table. I closed with a parenthesis and I click enter. X lookup, as you can see here, return an array of values. A number of employees, average salary, and location. So the values that we are looking for in our um, formula is exactly the same sequence as we have here in our Excel table. What if I'm not interested with average salary, but I'm oh, I, I only would like to pick up number of employees and location? We cannot use this formula here because it will spill the, the three values that we pick up. So this time we'll use XLOOKUP again, but we'll use a nested XLOOKUP or a lookup values again finance. Our lookup array is department, comma, and then for our return array, it says your return array will use another XLOOKUP. Our lookup value is here at the top, number of employees, comma, our lookup array is column headers at the top comma and our return array is the values here we can highlight all these values here then we just closed the formula with the um, parentheses double parentheses so now we're getting 192 so if we're going to copy the formula we're getting a uh, an error because our lookup value also moves as we copy the formula to the right so what we need to do is we need to fix those lookup value before we copy our formula what we're going to do i pressed f2 this f8 here is this one here finance so we need to lock the column references by pressing f4 three times another lookup value that we need to lock is this v7 here at the top uh, the number of employees, so we'll press the F4 two times to lock the row references. So if, if, we, if we decide to move to copy the formula down, we'll still be looking on the same row, uh, which is the, the seventh row. So click enter and now we can copy our formula to the right. So we're getting BGC, if that's right, financed BGC and 192. The good thing about this technique is um, it's dynamic. Let's say if we decide to change our headers, uh, let's say I'm not interested with the number of employees, but I would like the average salary. If we change that to average salary, now the look the X lookup will look for the average salary column. Let's say if we, if we would like to change the location to the number of employees. Now that formula here will dynamically change and we look to the column for the number of number of employees so similarly if we add more values here let's say hr and we copy the formula we're getting also the values for hr 35000 35000 and 140 for the number of employees thank you for watching and see you next time